Hello everyone, Happy New Year, welcome back to the Cat Guide channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a simple vase on Onshape. Uh, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Alright, let's begin. So first we're going to go to the front face by either pressing on front from this icon or we can go to front over here, choose right click and go view normal to zoom in a little bit. So now we're going to take the sketch option which we can do by pressing shift s on our keyboard or by choosing sketch over here and we're going to choose the front plane as our sketch plane. Now we're going to take the line which we can do by pressing L on our keyboard or by choosing this line option and we're going to draw the line from here to here around there escape this and I'm going to draw one more line over here so now let's give the dimensions so we're going to choose this dimension tool over here which we can do by pressing D on our keyboard or by choosing this option extend it I'm going to give it five inches like that for this one i'm going to give 1.5 inches and for the top i'm going to give one inch now we're going to come and choose the spline option so it might be spline automatically for you guys or you might have to go to the drop down and select spline we're going to start from the top or the bottom and we're going to extend it like this, take it in and bring it back out and click again to exit like that. Sorry. Let me draw it again, guys, like this inside and there. All right. You have to double click after you select the point to exit the line. Now we can unclick this so we can edit how we want the spline to look. So we can take this, we can make it in, out, anything we want. So I feel I want to make it a bit like this. Like that. All right, this is good. So now we're done with the sketch and we can press the check mark. Now what we're going to do is choose the revolve option, which we can do by pressing shift W on our keyboard or by choosing this revolve option over here. We're going to, for the face or sketch to revolve, we're going to choose this face like this. And for the revolve axis, we're going to choose this box and we're going to choose the center line as the revolve axis. And now, as you guys can see, we have our rays throughout. We can select the check mark because we're done with the revolve. Now what we're going to do is give the hollowness or the, the entrance to the vase, which will be on top. So what we're going to do as our vase is already hollow, we're going to go and choose this option, which is called shell. This option right here. So one, two, three, four, five, the fifth option from the second row shell. And we're going to choose the stop circle as the shell and there we have it enter so our vase is almost done guys you guys can now see we have the surface and we have the inside now what we're going to do is give it a more rounded not such a sharp edge give it some more texture so what we're going to do is choose the fillet option we can do this by pressing shift f on our keyboard or by choosing this option right here for the entities to fill it, we're going to choose this outside uh, circumference as well as these, this inside one. Let me zoom in. There we go. And I'm going to make it 0 0.04 inches. And perfect. There we have it. And a vase uh, isn't normally in this color and I don't like this color. So what we can do is go to here so we can go to parts part one you're going to see part one over here you're going to right click and choose edit appearance and you guys can choose whichever color you want red blue i'm going to give it this purplish color uh something like that and there it is there we have it guys you guys can press p on your keyboard to remove that and we have the vase right here 
isometric there we have it guys thanks for watching please subscribe and like and stay tuned for more videos bye guys